on. The Bible says that his voice was like the voice of many waters. Oh, hallelujah. That voice of many waters goes to show that the Alpha and the Omega, which is the body of the Lord, is a many-member body. But they speak one voice. They have one mind, one thought, which is actually the mind of God. Praise God. If you see one, you see the other. If you hear one, you hear the other. Oh, praise God. So if you are hearing the voice today, you are hearing actually the voice of the archangel, which is simply the voice of truth. The archangel is only a servant. Amen. The angel of God is only a servant. He only does what he hears the Father do. He does not have a life of his own. He does not have an identity of his own. He does not have he does not do anything of his own, nothing of his own. Everything that he does is he does unto the true, invisible, and immortal God. Praise God. And he goes forth to speak the truth. And it is, it is the truth that liberates man from death. Hallelujah. The archangel, this powerful angel clothed in the glory cloud of God, had his foot upon the sea and upon the earth, and his foot was, you know, aflame with fire. Why was the foot upon the sea and upon the earth? Why? Because the sea represents the font of Satan, the depths of Satan. It represents the depths from where men derive their wisdom and understanding. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. And that is where men are chained. You know, multitudes and multitudes of men are chained with chains of death in dungeons underneath the sea. Hallelujah. The earth also talks about the realm of carnality, the realm of mortality where men walk. Praise God. And this message, this messenger of God comes here to bring and end. He comes as he puts his, his leg upon the earth and upon the sea. It illuminates the sea and the earth and it destroys everything that cannot pass through fire. And we know fire is truth. God is a consuming fire. Anything that is not of God, anything that is not in the nature of God, anything that is not compatible with God will not stand the fire. As the Lord is being revealed upon the earth. Praise God. The Lord descends and he destroys death. Praise God. The fire and the truth of God will consume that font of knowledge from the depths of Satan that, that has energized our lives upon the earth. Don't you know that men actually operate with another spirit that is not of God? They operate with the spirit of lies. This world as a whole that does not know God operates with another spirit. Amen. They operate, you know, and are governed by the spirit, you know, the prince of the power of the air, which is Satan. That's the spirit operating in the sons of disobedience. So as long as men are subject to that kind of spirit, they abide in death. Death. They cannot see life. Praise God. So God is descending with his light, which is truth, to destroy those chains of death. You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Hallelujah. If you live a life as a mortal man, if you live a life in material consciousness, if you live a life in relation to a material world, thinking that you are a natural man, a natural being, you are dead in the sins and trespasses of Adam. If you don't realize that you are a spiritual being who appears for a moment in a physical body, you are dead. Praise God. If you are in bondage to the elements, you are attached to the elements of this outer material world, you are dead in the translation of Adam. Praise God, but you shall know the truth, the truth shall set you free. Hallelujah. The spirit of truth is here. The spirit of truth is speaking. Hallelujah. Christ is the spirit. Praise God. 
the spirit is appearing and is speaking. He can speak through men. He can speak, minister to you in your heart. Diverse, diverse ways. But he's speaking to you and causing an awakening. Oh, praise God. We know that the last enemy to be defeated is death. Praise God. Death. Hallelujah. And God will burn off everything that is of death. Hallelujah. So that nothing that is of Satan will remain in us as he gathers us back in his kingdom. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. So this angel descended from heaven and he shouted with a loud voice and a loud voice uttered, you know, seven thunders. Praise God. And he said, seal it. These seven thunders are actually the secret of the ages. These seven thunders actually is the voice of truth from the heart of the Father. And it is the voice of truth revealing the originality of all things, revealing the mind of God. Before now, when we walked in ignorance, we were actually walking according to the, you know, the knowledge that was fetched from the depths of Satan, from the mind of men and the systems of men. And these systems of men, are, you know, do not know God. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. John tried to write it, write down the seven, you know, thunders, but was told to seal it, seal it unto the end. Seal that book. Praise God. But I tell you, brethren, the hour has come. There is nothing hidden that shall not be revealed. Everything that is hidden shall be revealed. Praise God. Hallelujah. That book is being opened right now. And we are beginning to hear the seven thunders. Who oh, hallelujah. Which are also the seven trumpets that go forth to reveal the mystery of God. Because when this trumpet begins to sound, the Bible says that the mystery of God will be what? Finished, will be completed. The mystery of God will what? Will be finished. Up to this day, God has been a mystery. God has been a mystery. As long as God is a mystery, meaning unknown, something shielded, hidden, there's no way a man can live God. Because, can live. Because knowing God is eternal life. Amen. You cannot know God with just head knowledge. You know God by experience, by living in Him. It's something that you live in, that you, you, you grow into consciously, being aware of. The mystery of God is finished as, you know, this, these seven thunders are revealed. Praise God. Specifically, the angel said that in the days of the sounding of the seventh angel, the mystery of God will be finished. If the seventh angel will sound, it means these other six, these other six angels have sounded. Because in reality, there are seven angels that make up this archangel. There are seven angels that make up this archangel. And these seven angels are nothing but the multitude, you know, of perfected spiritual creatures, new creatures in Christ, that join themselves to serve the Lord. These ones are gathered into that one body. These ones are gathered into that, you know, body of saints that are at the right hand of God, doing the will of God eternally. Oh, praise God. And this is where we are all being gathered to. Oh, hallelujah. If you turn to the book of Revelation, chapter, chapter 1, you know when John saw the Alpha and the Omega, John had seen seven stars, you know, on the, you know at the right hand. Seven stars in the right hand of the Alpha and the Omega. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. And you know, further down, the Alpha and the Omega explains to John the meaning of those seven stars. 